morning. Hopefully it's light enough to see me. Should be. It's 20 past eight, Thursday, the 21st of December, 2023 for me. I think you'll get to see this video on the Wednesday after Christmas. So what's that, the 27th? Yeah, I think so. And this will be the last video of this year. Um, basically tying up a few loose ends and uh, letting you know what's coming in 24. So firstly, I'm in the Kia today. You don't see this car very often on the channel. This is Heather's car. Um, it's a Kia Venga diesel. It's a, what is it? 2018, January 2018, so it's a 67 plate. Um, and we've had it for five years. So it's just coming up to six years old. So it was just under a year old when we got it. I'm taking it for MOT this morning and service at Kia. She has a service plan with Kia. She just lets them deal with everything. And in fairness, it's been an epic car. It's let us down once and they came and fetched it and fixed it. Something to do with an earthing problem. And other than that, it's had a new set of glow plugs, which they did on warranty. Other than that, it's been absolutely golden. You can just get in it, start it. It does exactly what it should do. Yeah, it's a bit plasticky, but it's totally reliable. When we bought it, it just got 4,000 miles on the clock and it's got 45, 860 on at the moment. So I've got a courtesy car booked. So the exciting part for you and me is to see what I get. Although last year I got a Picanto. I'm not expecting anything flashy. Um, so I'll show you that in a bit. I'll also update you then when we've picked that up as to what's coming up on the channel. But at the minute, I'm stuck in morning traffic. I finished work yesterday until after Christmas, but it seems a lot of people didn't. So I should have been at the garage at half past eight. I've got no chance of that. I'll pick you up when we've picked up whatever it's gonna be. Right, so we are in the courtesy car. All I can tell you at the minute is it's yellow. It's a Rio this time, which is the next one up from the Picanto, slightly bigger, um, still not huge. It's a petrol, and by the sound of it, I think it's a three cylinder by the sound of it. You can just tell by the, the way that the engine sounds. Um, I'll find out and put some details up. It's not bad, it's a fairly decent spec. Um, I'll show you around it anyway when I get home. Problem is today, it's so windy, you would not believe how windy it is. And um, it's gonna hamper filming anything. But yeah, it's tidy enough. It's obvious, I don't think it's as high a spec as the Venga. The Venga was the top spec one at the time, what they called the Venga 4. So it got everything. This has still got a fair bit of kit on it, but I don't exactly know what it is. Um, it's tidy enough. Anyway, it's done 7,746 miles and it's a 23 plate, I think. So it's fairly new. Um, so, Anyway, I'm waffling because, you know, I'm familiarising myself. Update then quickly before I show you this. Focus and the tyres. Um, can't believe how mental that video went that I did on the tyres. Done some over 8,000 views. My best performing video of the year. Which doesn't say a lot because I haven't really done a lot of videoing. But still amazing. And the, the amount of different countries it's reached and comments I've had has been interesting. Um... The tyres themselves are absolutely amazing. Um, it's transformed the car, it really has. So initially when I said I was a bit aggrieved putting 300 quid's worth of tyres on an 800 quid car, it's been worth it just to get the driving experience, if you like, of the Focus. Because they were always renowned for being quite a good driver's car. And uh, it just sticks like glue, it really does. They are fantastic tyres, so I'm really happy with them. Um, a little update on my old Rover, Judith. You'll remember, um, if you've followed the channel for a while, that the head gasket went, I sold it on, 
and it was getting repaired then it went quiet and the repairs something went wrong with the repairs basically Peter who bought it couldn't get it running anyway I had an update from him the other day and all is good with that at the moment sort of I won't spoil it for you but since he sent me the footage and I made the video which will be coming out after this one uh, something else has happened um, and I'll update you with that after you've seen that video as it won't make sense this is the problem when I'm filming them out of sequence because of having daylight when I have daylight I can only do them at certain times so yeah oh it's got stop start as well we don't want that on let's turn that off do you have to what do you have to do put the handbrake on or what yeah what epoxy car hate stop start anyway yeah I won't spoil it for you but like I say filming out of sequence is really annoying sometimes um, but yeah that will be the first video of 2024 that you'll see and then to update you all because I know everybody doesn't watch every video so I am repeating myself occasionally um, I'm going to try and release a video every Wednesday if I can um, even down to the fact that some Wednesdays it may be absolutely nothing to do with cars or trains or anything it may just be me venting about something although I'll defer from politics I don't do politics so yeah just really a catch-up I just want the channel to continue but I can't continue it doing just cars and just trains that don't have the the time or the footage but um, yeah just to keep the channel ticking over I'll try and do something every Wednesday and um, that's pretty much it really I don't think there's anything else to tell you it's not that exciting I've um, as you see this video hopefully I've been away in the van all over Christmas including Christmas Day um, so there could even be some footage coming up of what I did there never spent Christmas Day anywhere other than in in the house so that could be a weird experience anyway waffling I'll pick you up in a minute when I show you around this uh, Rio and then we'll wrap it up you'll have to excuse the wind noise if there is any just thought I'd show you under the bonnet as I say I'm guessing and I will have put on the screen it's a little three-cylinder turbocharged as well by the locks as most modern ones are rather a nice Agatha style yellow uh, I'm limited to what I can film to be honest I can't get round it very well on the drive and it's that windy I didn't want to go out and about plus with it being a courtesy car I had to sign a 500 pound excess waiver so it was literally home and back is all I'm going to do in it quickly show you the uh, interior typical Kia it's very very plasticky but it it does the job um and it's got a key this one the the vengas a push start keyless thing Let's see what bong 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 system check so there you go seven seven thousand seven hundred and fifty two miles four hundred and thirty one miles range because it's got a full tank of fuel yeah it's all right they are a sea of plastic these days, but it's it's all right. It's nice to drive. Um, let's see, it should do some sort of shutdown thing as well. So yeah, I've come 5.6 miles, average 38.7 to the gallon. I think that said. Not bad because I was in traffic. Um, there you go. It's not a bad little car. spare wheel you just get a key to the inflator that's pretty much all I can show you really 
Okay, just going to take the uh, Rio back to Burton Kia. The, the Wenger has passed the MOT. No advisories. The only issue we'd got was they did a health check. Uh, the rear discs are slightly rusty. A lot of that's from it sitting for a long time on the drive. It needed a new battery. They did a battery health check on it, which was quite expensive because it's a stop-start battery. And they advised something about the battery in the key fob. We've had the new battery, but we haven't bothered with the brakes or the key fob. Uh, I will add a bit of footage on at the end that they send you. They send you a, a video, basically, to prove what needs doing and show you the underneath of the car. So, um, yeah, stick around for that. But other than that, I will see you in the new year. Hope you had a great Christmas and you have a good new year too. And I'll catch you in 2024. Bye-bye. Good morning, my name's Alex, I'm the Kia train technician working on your vehicle today. Just carried out a complimentary vehicle health check as part of your service, about to go with your vehicle with you. The only bit item I've noted on the VHC today is the battery. As you can see, the health is at zero and the test recommends the battery is replaced. So I would advise the battery is replaced today. The near side front tyre tread depth is around 4.6 millimetres. This tyre is all okay. And the near side front suspension and brakes are all okay. The offside front tyre tread depth is around 4.6 millimetres also, this tyre is all okay. And the offside front suspension and brakes are all okay. Under the vehicle, the exhaust security is all okay. The near side rear tyre tread depth is around 5.7 millimetres, this tyre is all okay. And the near side rear suspension is all okay. The offside rear tyre tread depth is around 6.1 millimetres, this tyre is all okay. And the offside rear suspension system is all okay. The rear brakes I have noted as an amber item, I've just noted down that there is quite a lip on the inner edge of the disc and there is also some corrosion on the outer face which is slightly worse on the near side rear brake as you can see there. The inner item noted on the VHC today is a key fob battery which I do advise is replaced annually just to ensure the key keeps working the way that it should. Thank you for watching this video, thank you for choosing Burke.